Some of the unknown dangers about, you know, what's out there in the skincare world. Retinol is one of the products, ingredients, which cause inflammation, a destruction of your skin barrier. There's so many things wrong with using that. I mean, like, would you throw acid peels on your kidneys? We do all these things for our skin and we think it doesn't matter. It does matter what we put on our skin. These poor young girls are going into these big box retailers at very young ages. They're applying all of these chemicals and hormone disruptors to their skin. Because these lip balms have really scare ingredients mm -hmm. and you put it on the lips and then the kids eat it sunscreen pulled from the market for cancer causing properties everybody tells you use sunscreen 24 7 of course you because you destroyed your skin practically right so it's actually better if you today we are joined by dr barbara sturm a medical doctor and acclaimed German aesthetics doctor and trailblazer in the realm of anti-inflammatory skincare. From pioneering the renowned blood facial, also known as the vampire facial, to launching globally recognized skincare lines, Dr. Sturm has seamlessly blended science and aesthetics to revolutionize how we approach skin health. Today, we'll delve into her innovative treatments, her philosophy on skincare, and how she continues to push the boundaries of beauty and wellness. Hey guys, welcome back to the Ultimate Human Podcast. I'm your host, Gary Brecka, human biologist, where we go down the road, everything anti-aging, biohacking, longevity, and everything in between. As you just heard, today's guest, who also happens to be a very close personal friend of my wife's and I, um, been to her home many times in, in Switzerland, spent a lot of time with this beautiful soul. She has made such an impact on the world of skincare, cosmetics, women's beauty, she is none other than the esteemed Dr. Barbara Sturm. Welcome to the podcast. Oh, thank you, Gary. I am so excited to cry. have you on here. I love you so much. Thank you for I having me. I love you too. Like you're one of you're one of our closest friends. And like every time every time we spend like a few weeks or months apart that we get together, we just eat each other's face. Oh my god, we for... just talk science all the time, and <laughs> it energizes science. me. And we're just like you know making plans and. Talking. Yeah, already, uh, just for those of you guys that are watching, she had a flight. She's moved it how many times now? Three times, four times? <laughs> just just since she's been here today. Because we couldn't get the podcast started because we had so I much know. to talk about. Um, but I think the world of of you, I mean, you're an MD, first of all. Um, you founded one of the most incredible boutique skincare lines in the world. My my wife and I use it. Um, yeah, I have, I have thousands of our clients that use it. And it's not just that you have this incredible uh, boutique skincare line and, and just a world-class design packaging, but you really, really deeply care about the ingredients. And this is where you and I first you know, came together years and years ago. Um, we were actually going to co-formulate a, uh, a product using exosomes and her MC1 cream. And I just became enthralled and fascinated with the amount of time and energy and the exhaustive way that you care so much about ingredients and skincare. And I love for you, because I, I'm trying to build my female audience, right? And they, they're always like, Gary, all you have on is men. You talk about men's stuff. So today you have women on talking about women's stuff. Um, but the guys are going to get a lot out of this too. But, um, you know, I want you to talk a little bit about, um, first, some of the unknown dangers about you know what's out there in the skincare world and some of the big myths about the best ways to slow down or reverse the aging process in your skin. This is where we are so similar with our approach. And for me, it's so important that I just not only care about the ingredients in the products, I also care about the outcome for the patient. So I'm at service to my patient and I love when patients get a result and have effective products mm -hmm. which help them to slow down the aging process but also give them an immediate result and that has to do with the ingredients we use in the products but also the formulation we do so we're working on formulations for years and years and years and it's important that many things take place like an anti-inflammatory process because and that's where um, I think you had it um, towards products which cause inflammation on the skin so I'm an yes. anti-inflammatory doctor my background is anti-inflammatory science I started in the orthopedics I helped pioneering a treatment where you basically take the patient's blood you process it in a certain way you create anti-inflammatory proteins re-inject those into the joints mm. to take down inflammation and slow down the aging process so inflammation Inflammation, aging goes very, very close together. And here I come back to your situation where you think 
okay, which ingredients actually cause inflammation on the skin. And that we find in skincare products a lot that starts from retinol, retinol. Um, retinol, like because colic, everybody says to take retinol. Peels. You can so, walk down the grocery store aisle and retinol's everywhere. I know, everywhere. And they sell it to kids, they sell it to everybody. But retinol is one of the products, ingredients, which cause inflammation, a destruction of your skin barrier, um, sensitivity on your skin. There is so many things wrong with using that. And... You know, the industry tells us, okay, it accelerates your cell turnover. It, you know, creates baby skin, whatever. But, you know, our skin has tasks, functions. It's our largest organ protecting our system. It's mm. intertwined with our immune system. I mean, like, would you throw acid peels on your kidneys or liver? It's would we do that? crazy like, way to look so. at it. So with the skin, we think, oh, we scrub it off, we resurface, we do all these things um, to our skin and we think it doesn't matter. It does matter what we put on our skin has a... Um, has a corresponds with our immune system, with our system. There are dendritic cells underneath the skin. That's why when immune we put cells, hormones yeah. on, testosterone, for example, or whatever it is, you put it on your arm or in your leg or, you know, you just have this effect through application on your skin. And that's mm. the same with our skin care. And that's why we need to be knowledgeable about skincare ingredients. So we know what's going on when we put certain ingredients on our skin. Mm. And for those of you that are wondering why she has a bandage on her arm, we did oh, yeah. we did vitamin Exosomes. C IVs right before the podcast. So I, <laughs> I actually just took mine off, but we did vitamin C no, IVs. No, I thought it's chic. Yeah, it, no, it is very chic. It actually <laughs> really makes your eyes pop. It looks it looks great. But I think there's so many, you know, um, you know, you go to these uh, these big box retailers. I won't say the name. Um, you know, several of them have crept up in our town. I live in Miami. But we split time uh, between here and Naples. And our youngest is 16 years old. And so she goes into these big box retailers. I go in there with her. I have no idea what I'm uh, doing in there. But I spin some of those bottles around and look at the back of those labels. And I know... These are major scary um, hormone disruptors, major causes of um, inflammatory um, conditions. Um, certainly, uh, in in at a cellular level, and and then you start to look at all of the um, aside from the food supply and everything else. These these poor young girls are going into these big box retailers at very young ages. They're applying all of these chemicals and hormone disruptors to their skin, um, and they're starting their menstrual cycles at very 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 early ages. They're throwing their menstrual cycle off um, in their pubescent years. Um, so talk a little bit about... It causes a lot of problems. And not just, yeah. I mean, I'm 16 years old. Pepper is nine. The whole community of the eight, nine-year-old, they're all crazy about skin care. Pepper's your daughter. That, yeah. yeah. Um, Pepper's my daughter. Yeah, yeah. Um, you so, throw so Pepper out there like they know. <laughs> they're crazy about skin care. And they know all the brands. I don't know how they know it. Probably... You know, some TikTok, well, whatever. TikTok and then friends talk, and you know, there's so much buzz out there. They go into the retailers, they buy some brands, and they don't know what's in there. They just want to use it. They want to do like a really elaborate skincare routine, and then they get their rashes. I get calls from my friends. Oh, my kid put this on. What can I do? So, um, as parents, it's very hard to stop them. Mm -hmm. You know, because then also if you don't buy it for them, they trade with their friends. It's crazy. They mm. come with these skincare ingredients. I told Pepper, listen, you know, this ingredient causes cancer. Really, cancer? Can I have your lip balm? Lip balm, for example, because sometimes as parents, you think, oh, just give her the lip balm. You know, it doesn't matter. Right. It's just what. This is even more dangerous because these lip balms have really scary ingredients. Mm -hmm. And you put it on the lips and then the kids eat it. Well, in the U.S., 23, 23 bands of, of, of sunscreen have oh. been pulled from the market for cancer-causing properties. And if you think about sunscreen-causing skin cancer, it just... You know, in the uh, 23 US, brands. The law about filter and skincare hasn't changed for over 20 years. Mm. And, you know, there's like this. What do you mean, filter and skincare? Yeah, the, the, the skincare, fil like mm. the, 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 the filter, the, mm. the sunscreen ah. hasn't been changed. The law hasn't been changed for over 20 years. They're still oh using gosh. the same f filter. That's why when you come to Europe, buy your sunscreen better in Europe because they're using way more modern filters. But, you know, in general, Filters and skincare is not the greatest ingredient. So if you damage your skin constantly, retinol, glycolic, acid peel, you damage, damage, mm. damage. So you, your skin is vulnerable. It's raw. Sun even penetrates harder. You get more pigmentation, more aging. You can cause it can cause cancer. 
inflammation. So you do so much damage that you that, that everybody tells you use sunscreen 24/7 24/7. Of course you because you destroyed your skin practically. Right. So it's actually better if you strengthen your skin, make what you got the best it po possibly could hmm. be, you know, make it like Away from inflammation, hydrate, nutrition, telomerase activation, exosomes. Put that on your skin, heal and repair, heal and repair, make it super, super, super strong. So that sun, if you cross the street in the sun, that it doesn't, you know, destroy doesn't, them. Just, you know, and Gary, skin. come on. How important is sun for so many oh reasons? Oh my God, it's so important to you. I we talk about it all the time. I, I think that most of us are not getting enough sun. It's, we're not moving. It's not that we're getting too much. We need, we need. Our light, we need the sun for our respiratory tract, for our yep. immune system, for our bones. We're very for, photovoltaic beings. For, for our mental health. I, we cannot exclude ourselves from the sun. But if we destroy our skin on a constant basis, obviously, you know, we have to use all these filters. So, so let's talk about some specifics. What are, you know, um, if they're going to take a pen out right now and say, what are some no-fly zone ingredients that... Um, moms and dads and everybody listening to this 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 podcast could say, okay, these are some things I definitely want to make sure are not in my cosmetics, not in my skincare regimen, because advertising is so good now. And and you know, the men and women they're using in these ads are so beautiful and you're just like, God, I would love to look like that. If that's all they're using, you know, I'm yeah. I'm in. But what are what are some of the absolute no fly zone ingredients that we should know about? I think the more simple ones we can totally remember quickly, you know, it's like perfumes, fragrances shouldn't be in. So, so, be in so will it say perfumes, fragrances? Fragrance, yeah. Okay. It would say that, and that destroys your skin barrier too. And these are also so parabens. Stay, yeah, parabens. Phthalates. Exactly. Uh, mineral oils. I would stay away from mineral oils. Mineral high, oils. High Because mineral oil sounds great. Yeah, uh, it's petroleum basically. When they say mineral oil, they mean petroleum. Yeah, it sounds great, but it's not. It's not great for you. It basically clogs your pores, takes hydration out. You need hydration in your skin. Mm. You know, I always compare grapes with raisins. Right. Hydrated skin cells are grapes. Raisins are the dehydrated skin cells. And obviously, the grapes look better on your skin, on your skin barrier. They're more, you know, robust. Right. So things like hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid, for example. And, you know, these grapes have better osmosis channels to take on active ingredients because we also want to go through all our cell divisions and therefore we need the nutrients, we need the hydration, we need, you know, support for our cells. So I always want the skin to be hydrated. Hyaluronic serum is a great hydrator. Um, but I formulated mm. every single product to be super hydrating to the skin. And if someone has dry skin, they have to fix it. Dry skin is really a skin killer um, mm. With everything aging, whatever it is, rashes. I, I want to jump allergies. on that, but I want to I want to go back to the ingredients. Like, what are a couple of absolute no fly zone ingredients? And so, then for sure, glycolic. Glycolic. For sure, retinol, retinol. retinoid. Um, Retinoic acid. Hydroquinone. Hydroquinone. Then um, acid peels. Acid peels. Everybody does acid peels. I did a whole list. I will I will share like a list where I also check products specifically for ingredients and we say okay this is not for sensitives this is not for um and for you kids. have this for, list i have this list i will check okay if you. you send that to me i will make it available yeah. in the show notes for you guys so that you can actually get this list so we have an exhaustive list because it's hard to memorize all of these different high um, concentration of alcohol high concentration of alcohol is not only terrible for sleep it's terrible for yeah. your skin yeah i mean since i've stopped Drinking almost entirely, my wife and I, our sleep scores have gone through the roof. I actually just did a podcast earlier today with um, the CEO of, of Sleep Aid. It's a sleep cooling mattress. And um, so I have all these ways of tracking my sleep. And and of all of the things that I've done to hack my sleep, you know, the greatest impact on my heart rate variability, my, my resting heart rate, and the percentage of, of deep sleep and REM sleep that I get has absolutely been zero alcohol for sure and um. sleeping is so anti-inflammatory oh, a good, good. night's sleep my, that's helped my skincare routine yeah. too so so now um you know the basics of a good male or female skincare routine at any age first you have mm -hmm. to hydrate mm -hmm. so um hyaluronic so, serum hyaluronic perfect serum. and these that's are not expensive must. right hyaluronic acid I, I mine see. is quite expensive but also it's the best <laughs> formulation i mean like seriously 
you want to get the benefits out of it. So you need to have different molecule sizes, but also the diffusion matters, you know, because sometimes they say, oh, your hyaluronic serum is not highly concentrated. Yeah, highly concentrated hyaluronic serum is basically like a gel that wouldn't penetrate the skin. So it mm. needs to be perfectly formulated so that it penetrates the skin, goes in all the cell layers and mm. hydrates deeply in a long term but also superficially in the short term. So you get all the benefits, and that's your grape maker. So you know? your hyaluronic acid not only has different molecular sizes, it actually protects the barrier, it protects the surface of the skin it and then goes into the, the skin. Yeah. Yeah. And what kind of um, procedures, if you will, are you a fan of? Um, chemical peels, uh, microneedling, microneedling with radio frequency, um, dermabrasion. What, for, for people that are listening that want to, you know, they have these options to refresh their skin. Mm -hmm. And, and, and I'm, I've had cosmetic surgeons on and, and all kinds of physicians on. I'm always interested to know, you know, what can we do to just enhance the beauty of our skin without borrowing from our future, which yeah. is what you're telling me these chemical peels do. You get yeah, some short-term gain, but you're I would just not do borrowing for sure. from the future. I wouldn't do chemical peels. I wouldn't do laser unless you have, like, underlying problems like severe or acne or, or acne scarring. But pigmentation, look, if you do a treatment for pigmentation, you take off healthy skin layers with the acid peel or with the mm. laser. So you make your skin totally raw, vulnerable. So now you sit in front of your computer with the HGV light or you go outside. So you have the sunlight. You have pollution bombarding your skin and mm. actually causing inflammation on your skin, which your skin is not protected of right now. So you cause post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. Mm. So actually, instead of making it better, you're making it worse. So what I did was I created a brightening line and a darker skin tone line and the Better B, and those products together actually help to loosen the agglomeration of yellow and dark spots. So it doesn't go from today to tomorrow, like a right. quick fix, but like after three, four weeks, you see such a great um, difference while you still hydrate, while you still protect your skin barrier, while you hydrate and, you know, make your skin the best, mm. most beautiful organ and you it, it looks great, you know, so but, you but don't I, damage your skin, but you take ingredient signs to make your problem go away. Um, you know, I noticed that you at, at your locations, you do certain facials. Mm -hmm. um, so what kind of facial procedures do you do you do there and which ones do you support? If somebody's listening to this podcast and they're like, wow, I've, I've been reading about Morpheus or lasers or um, microneedling or um, any number is of very, things. Morpheus um, is very trendy right now and um, we have the Morpheus 8 in our um, spa in London. Okay. And it's radio frequency and microneedling together. And I haven't done it because I'm always like, you know, I'm staying a little bit away from... Um, from a little more intense treatments, mm -hmm. but um, and that definitely causes a you know light form of inflammation, mm -hmm. and which you can treat right away with exosomes and hyaluronic serum, the calming serum, etc. And this is like a thing you do once, right? You know, I think what's really problematic is the constant inflammation. You know, mm. if you do a microneedling once in a while, obviously we do exosomatic microneedling. We do. You know, we I created the blood facial, so yeah, what do, they call the vampire facial. This this is the this, founder of the vampire facial. They, they years coined ago. it the vampire 20 facial twenty years ago. Yeah, I was like, okay. And was this from the this the platelet rich plasma that they were you were, you were originally using to put into joints to reduce exactly. inflammation in joints? So it, w it was not just growth factors like the PRP, but also anti-inflammatory proteins like. And where do you get these anti-inflammatory proteins? You spin them down in the blood. Yes. Okay. So you take the blood, you spin it down, you not only get the platelet-rich plasma, the PRP, which but I think most people have heard about. But also the anti 1, the anti-inflammatory support system. And how do you separate the this um, anti-interleukin-1? You just spin it. You just mm. like, you so know, you, it doesn't even rate. need, like exosomes, it needs a ultra-high centrifugation. It needs a normal centrifugation with 8,000. RPM. Mm -hmm. And then once you extract this, how do you apply it to the skin? Do you apply it or do you inject it? You do inject it. Okay. You can, I mean, like you do all kinds of things. I did a blood cream. I, I mixed um, the blood with the hyaluronic. You mean the, you, the patient's blood? Yeah, you with, mix the with the hyaluronic acid. So I injected, mm. you know, patients with hyaluronic acid combined with your blood. and did With like the patient's own blood. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. with their own serum, mm -hmm. you're basically t capturing the healing power of the body and yeah. just concentrating it mm -hmm. in the face, which is similar to what we do with, you know, um, injuries with repetitive use injuries and 
you know, post surgical rehab, we put platelet rich plasma into the yeah. joint to accelerate healing. Exactly. Which 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 I'm a huge fan of because you're just basically taking all the power of the healing body and exactly. you're just concentrating. They did my, it. my knee surgery and while they and were just doing the surgery. Her, <laughs> she just tore her ACL skiing. Yeah, no, I'm now but, I'm so on but Gary she was standing like, and not skiing. This 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 woman rips so her and my wife are both like super expert skiers and when we were in switzerland we were staying at her place she has a superhuman protocol so was doing the red light and everything and and the two of uh, them went out and just ripped down that mountain and then you you just tore your acl just standing in like doing the, nothing <laughs> but yeah, you know i'm very diligent is. with my red light now and with my pmf and oxygen yeah. this helped really very much the healing yeah, no, it's it's uh, no the red light is 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 amazing. Red light, PEMF, and then obviously your own platelet rich plasma. Your knee looks looks amazing. So again, if you're you're, you're listening, basic skin care routine is hyaluronic acid. Hyaluron. This is for me the white t shirt of your skincare routine. Okay. Morning and night. There's all no the there all the time. Morning and night, you need the hyaluronic serum or the super anti aging serum. One of the two serums, morning and night, and then one face cream. And that depends a little bit if you have oily skin, you use the face cream light or the clarifying mm -hmm. face cream. If you have a little more mature skin, you use the super anti aging face cream. Or if you have normal skin, face cream, the normal face cream. But if you have these two products and the cleanser, you already like have the most beautiful, glowy skin. Just don't mix it with any crazy products. Mm -hmm. But you can this the skincare routine can be as simple as that. Okay. And then do you have the enzyme cleanser, the powder? I do, yeah. I put the powder on. The I powder actually sometimes I do it in the uh, steam room. Yeah, do it so in the shower. It's amazing. I'll, I'll do it in this when I go in the steam in the morning because yeah. I shower in the steam yeah. room. I'll get in the shower I'll get in the steam. I only do it once a week, but and I put your enzyme That's the most powder. That's the most gentle my, form of exfoliation. My face feels really yeah, clean, so but good. it feels tight, almost yeah. dry when I get out. And then yeah. I, that's when I put the hyaluronic, hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic, calming. <laughs> calming, <laughs> hyaluronic. <laughs> <You're so laughs> no, I have so many serums, so, you know. Yeah. I have so many serums because the serums are the power tools of your skincare routine. And they're very targeted, high concentrated. Mm. You know, we have the niacinamide, the good C. We have like, you know, clarifying, whatever you need, super mm -hmm. anti-aging. So and you can layer the serums and it's like your little pharmacy at home. And you can really, depending on where you are in the world, what's your problem right now? Want to do something on pigmentation? Do you just want to hydrate? Or, you know, do you want to do an elaborate skincare routine? Or do you want to have like something small and short and quick? Simple. So you can really choose, match and, um, match and choose, no. Me me match and choose? <laughs> I'm not sure if that... I think, mix, I think, mix I think, and match. Mix and oh, match. Oh, mix and match. Okay. I, I was going to say, German. I think you just made Sorry, up a word. This, this language I think is we not just, my mother tongue. Yeah. <laughs> I think we just made up a word. Mansion shoes. <laughs> Those are shoes you wear in a mansion. Um, <laughs> but you can also put them on your face. <laughs> hey guys, if you've been watching the Ultimate Human Podcast for any length of time, you know that one thing I do not do is push products. I do not just let any advertiser into this space because I believe that the products that appear on the Ultimate Human Podcast should be things that I use every day in my life to improve my own physiology. One of them is something called the Echo Go Plus. The Echo Go Plus is a hydrogen water generator that you can take on the go. You essentially take the top off of this bottle, you pour bottled water in this, and repeatedly it will make high part per million hydrogen water. You press this little button, you'll see these bubbles going up in the water, that's hydrogen being created in the water. There are all kinds of peer-reviewed published clinical studies on the benefits of hydrogen water, including reduced inflammation, better absorption of your supplements, better absorption of your foods, better balance of the stomach acid, and it feeds an entire class of bacteria in your gut. Hydrogen water, in my opinion, is the most beneficial water that you can drink, and now you can take it wherever you go. You can go to echo, E-C-H-O, H-2-O dot com. That's echo, E-C-H-O, H-2-O dot com. Enter the code ultimate 10 for a discount, echo H-2-O, Enter the code ultimate ten for a discount. So, what are what are some of the um, trends that you see in in skincare? Because as a physician, as somebody who's formulated all of these products that are that are chemical free, and I'm a huge fan of chemical free living. Um, you know, the Ultimate Human is even developing some chemical free living products. You and I might be developing some. Um, what are some of the cringeworthy moments that you see where you're you know you see an advertisement where you see things on the shelves and it just makes you cringe because you know that society has bought off on this and, and lots of, you know, lots of your clients would be 
well, not your clients, but lots of people would be using this on their skin. I mean, the skincare industry uses a lot of marketing to sell products. Mm -hmm. So if you look at all these giant, you know, corporate companies out there, I mean, like they they really look what's trendy. They put a lot of a trendy ingredient into a product mm -hmm. and then they market it and sell it. You know, for example, vitamin C is a good example. You know, vitamin C orally taken, you can do two, three gram, whatever, mm -hmm. or intravenously. But on the skin, vitamin C... L as L ascorbic acid just bombards the surface of your skin and destroys your skin barrier. It actually stings. I yeah. put it on the other yeah, day. No, st but but the good C. It stings. The good C stings you? No, no, no. Not the Not yours. One because I, I found one in the bottom of my drawer. Yeah, don't use that. Well, I just didn't want to waste Gary, it, so I just on, dumped it. My, my wife was like, what are you doing? Like any I dumped vitamin it in my palm and I just splashed it on my face and it's stung like hell. But that's the problem like with vitamin C. It's like because, jellyfish nettles. Because vitamin C they use for pigmentation. And vitamin C isn't for pigmentation. Mm. Vitamin C is for radiance, um, you know, um, production of collagen and catching free radicals. This is vitamin C. But, you know, when L-ascorbic acid in 20% in product bombards the skin barrier, damages mm. the skin barrier and does the same like retinol, basically taking healthy skin layers off. And that's what we don't want. We want the good stuff from the vitamin C. That's why I created the good C, which is under 5%, not L-ascorbic acid. And it's good for sensitive skin. You can still get all the benefits of a good vitamin C. That's why marketing... So, so what is that form of vitamin C? So um, is it it's different like than L-ascorbic acid? It's like an encapsulated, call it, you know, okay. for me, English words with... You know, I'll put it in the show notes. Kaka du plum, which is 50 times more rich in vitamin C than an orange, for example. Wow. Comes from the plants. And, yeah. and this is extracted and put into yeah, a skincare product. Everything we do also go, goes through a lab. You know, for example, purslane, one of my favorite ingredients, which is telomerase activating, mm. um, gets biofermented. And we get all the good stuff from the purslane, but we don't get the viruses. We wow. don't get, we are, it's so what is this? What's, what's being fermented? So it, it's 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 a process in a in a in a lab. So we ferment this herb to make sure it's reliable on concentration. Mm. It's not having any viruses, so it doesn't cause allergies, and you get the best out of it. So it's like you know, when you get I don't know how how I can um, compare it to something, but you take the best of mm. of it out and leave the, the and leave, the, and, leave and leave yeah. the rest. And now you can apply this to the skin. Yeah. Is the basis for the majority of your skincare products are they are they plant based? Are they animal based? Are they marine based? Like where where, our where products do you source? Are vegan. The, all, all of products them are, are vegan. vegan. But some some things come from from marine. So we use astaxanthin, for example, which mm -hmm. you know superoxide dismutase, for example. We use um, lots of plants. We use superoxide dismutase, yes. or um, and are you getting these from algae, kelps? Yeah, um, algae. Yeah. Okay, and then and the and the, these are formulated into. Your in the, the, these are in the supplements now. But purslane, for example, is we we use a lot of herbs. Like mostly everything is coming from the plants. Yeah. You know, um, so what right now is really exciting you about the future of skincare? Like, what's your next big project? We were in this kitchen earlier. You were talking about chemical free living. And, you know, um, you were talking a little bit about, you know, skincare goes beyond what you just put on your face every day. It has to do with your detergents and your soaps and your dishwasher detergent and your toothpaste and all of the things that we think our skin is protecting us from. But very often it is allowing in. Right? It's exactly right. So I, I'm a doctor. I'm not just like a skincare formulator or mm. company which makes skincare. So I'm very, you know, we're I'm like you, like we're thinking as a whole, you know, mm -hmm. and it's like, you know, anti-inflammatory living is like get enough sleep, don't stress or de-stress, you know, have an anti-inflammatory diet, take anti-inflammatory skincare products, you know, don't go in the midday sun, things like that. Mm -hmm. So it's a whole lifestyle around it. And the lifestyle also regards our body so if i use a shampoo with silicones and 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 sulfates and tensites and microplastic and all these fragrances and all this crazy stuff mm -hmm. our scalp is skin it's very permeable it takes on all those crazy ingredients you know and then we wonder why do we have dandruff why do we lose hair why is all of this happening yeah to because us? a lot of so, women think that it's hormonal related no, 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 but no, very no, no. often it's, like, it's chemical related yeah and you know what we straighten our hair we do like all this kind of stuff and put all these products in our hair all the time and it touches our scalp so i created this um hair care mm. the whole line for hair care because and i put ingredient science in so we have a line which works for anti hair for it works because we put ingredients. Yeah, you told me you have a, a product that in what three months grows fifty percent more hair. 
Yeah, that's, that for men a, that's and a women? supplement. That's the that's growth oral cycle. Supplement. Growth cycle supplement. It's amazing. Really? What is you in do- that? Hmm? What's in that growth cycle supplement? For example, this I told you this this ingredient from the millet. It's mm. something very special and it's clinically proven and tested that it um, supports hair growth after three months for fifty percent. Wow! So it's um, it's amazing, but you can do so much with the products which touch your body. For example, for for the women here, you know, the female intimate area, for example, mm-hmm. has a very low pH. Our skin, by the way, is acidic. So mm-hmm. if you wash your skin with soap, which is very alkaline, you mess up the pH and you mess up the microbiome, which lives on our skin. And for the female intimate, which is very, very acidic because there's just this one bacterium which needs the acidity. And if you would wash yourself with soap, it comes alkaline, other bacteria come in, and then the microbiome changes, then women get UTIs, they get like all yeah. kinds of infections. But this is like due to a change of the pH. So if you create products which um, respect... The pH respect all these areas of our skin mm. it's so much better and you know we talked about it like detergent whatever you wash your t-shirts with it comes on your skin and then you 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 ha- it, this is like things which migrates into your skin as well so Every it day. matters how you wash your clothes as well so i created the detergent i'm a little really wonka you know i'm doing <laughs> you, you are really wonka. i'm just you. doing the, all of it but i care so much yeah. about these things you know yeah. so t- tell me a little bit about the you know the this the line that you have outside of skincare i mean what are you doing in the detergents and dishwasher soap and and detergents to wash your laundry with what how, how are you getting the the dirt out and avoiding like harsh chemicals? by the way the the detergent you know and we tested it and i hate so for this much. to just be a product commercial but i want people to um to leave with the idea that it's you know possible. chemical free living is more it's than possible. just what you're putting on your skin. It's performing super well the detergent. Mm-hmm. It's like What's it called? Dr. Sturm detergent. <laughs> I don't know how is it called? <laughs> I have no what close watch. I have no Dr. Sturm detergent. <laughs> you know, weirdly there's no fragrances in. It smells super good. Really? It gets all the job done, and I put skincare ingredients in, like aloe vera, purslane. Oh, you actually put skincare yes. ingredients yes. in the detergent, yes. so you actually get some skin you benefit. Need, you just need tiny bits. You don't need a lot. It gets the job done. It smells good, and you do something good for your skin. Hmm. So this is all I wash my uh, my clothes in. And, and where do you fall on uh, sunlight? You know, I mean, one of the things I tell people is that... They wake up in the morning, you know, the first 45 minutes of the day, there's no UVA, there's no UVB exactly. rays. The first light is just beautiful time to expose your skin to sunlight because you can also get the vitamin D3. Um, but there is a pandemic of public policy against getting sun, you know, sunscreen, sunscreen, sunscreen all the time. I see, you know, moms lathering their kids up in sunscreen before they go out. I they know. just think the sun is the absolute devil. So where do you fall on you know sunscreens and um and sunlight exposure yeah you we cannot demonize the sun as i said you're not born as a mood you need the sunlight so much and as i said obviously if you go if you take your kids to the beach if you go to the beach put sunscreen on Mm. definitely but you know if you strengthen your skin barrier our skin also has a natural sun protection you know and then i did a supplement called sunskin mm. with polyphenols to support your inner sun protection obviously you have to balance you also have to define what skin type am i you know do i get you know affected by the sun quickly or not and my very so, fair skin exactly and then you need to use a good sunscreen which has a nice protection but also has a good filter and and then what are some ingredients to look for in a sunscreen that would tell me that besides zinc um zinc oxide i or mean something, i already i already put panthenol for example in in our sun drops our sun um sun block is called sun drops mm-hmm. and panthenol for example already you know takes care of the damages possibly caused by the sun wow yeah? so it's a sunscreen that actually is beneficial for the skin yeah, so, so you I can do, actually it's use a like a skincare moisturizer. product i already okay. put like skincare ingredients which help to you know help with the damages you know caused by the sun and that's something but do you recommend that people um constantly wear sunscreen every day that they go out uh, outside even if they're so out, also not outside now for we have periods? to talk about lifestyle too because yeah. you know it's also do you want to have no wrinkles do you want to have porcelain skin do you want to have no pigmentation do you want to not have any of the signs of aging hmm. then you better wear a big hat wear sunscreen all day long 
gloves, whatever, you mm -hmm. know, use you know, vitamin D as a supplementation. I personally like to swim. I like to do water sports. I like to, you know, for me, this is also life. Oh, yeah, you're out Happiness, all the time. life, sun for mental health, you know. Obviously, I, you know, my sunscreens are amazing. I love them. I don't mind them. You mm. know, I, I use them. Do I use them 24-7? No, I use them when I need them. I know exactly how my skin reacts. This is where you have to really balance. And I know in America, especially, it's very... You know, people think sunscreen, sunscreen, sunscreen. Yeah. Dermatologists tell you sunscreen, sunscreen, sunscreen. But also if you think about dermatologists, they give you cortisone, antibiotics, lasers, acid peels, retinol, glycolic. They give you all of these things which actually damage your skin barrier. Absolutely, yes. They have to tell you sunscreen 24-7. Mm -hmm. We talk about keeping what we got in the best shape yes. and keeping our skin also functioning. So you decide when do you wear a sunscreen and when you know you My, don't I mean need there to are wear even some articles that are that are pointing to the fact that um as sunscreen has proliferated the incidence of skin cancers have actually risen i know i know i in, know in also, correspondence which is really I saw very that. interesting i don't, don't know I that i've that. read a clinical study but i've read numerous number that. of articles um mm -hmm. that as the you know, as the sunscreen industries really proliferated mm -hmm. and all of these brands ex expanding to these um, sunscreen brands. And, they, and, you know, when you go into the shelf, you have 7, 15, 35, 50. Now they have 70 and 100. I'm like, how do you get 100, you know? on Also, the it, difference between 50 and 30 is not that much. You know, one is 96 protection, percent protection. One is 93. I mean, there's not a big Difference. It's, it's, the, it's the amount of sun exposure. So, yes. so also, SPF 30, important. you could have twice as much sun exposure as SPF 15. Also, it's I important right? when you use sunscreen, you have to use it everywhere. Also on your ears, the mm -hmm. back of the neck. And you have to use enough and it has to get into your skin. Otherwise, it's not uh, the right protection. Right. So it's also but, how we use sunscreen. But why do you think that there would be a correlation to the increase in the availability and use of sunscreens? At the same time that you have a rise in skin skin cancers. I read that and probably because, you know, as we already said, these chemical filters are not lifestyle. amazing, you know. These are not great skincare ingredients. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and, I, and I think also very often, you know, we think that a lot of these pathologies and conditions are happening to us. You know, I, I really believe that many of these are happening within us. Mm -hmm. Meaning that, you know, just like you said, if you live a pro-inflammatory lifestyle, if you drink a lot of alcohol, if you're actually exposing your skin to a lot of or exposing your 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 blood, your immune system to a lot of assaults, micro assaults with mm -hmm. all of these different, you know, um, chemicals that we're exposed to in our water and our food and our air, um, you are less capable of defending yourself, mm -hmm. meaning you're less likely to have. It's these nice that you say defending yourself our skin is also a defense system. If you constantly destroy your defense system, mm. I mean, we, we need to do exactly the opposite. We yeah. need to strengthen our skin. Strengthen. Give them the support it needs. Give the, give the skin everything it needs to maintain good health, protection tool. It's mm -hmm. just such an important organ. Most of us have a very difficult time meeting our protein needs and certain protein sources like whey protein and others can be as little as 20% absorbable. This is 99% absorbable and it has all of the essential amino acids that the body needs to build lean muscle, to recover, to improve our exercise performance, and most importantly, to repair after we have intense exercise. So this is called Perfect Amino by Body Health. It's like I said, 99% absorbable. It only has two calories. Eventually the caloric intake has virtually no caloric intake. It will not break a fast. It tastes amazing. You mix it in water. I take this literally every single morning. If you're working out in a fasted state, you have to take a full spectrum amino acid prior to your workout to preserve your lean muscle and make sure that you're recovering properly. And again, it will not break your fast. So the caloric impact is virtually zero. You get all of the full spectrum amino acids. It tastes wonderful. I use it every single day. You can go to bodyhealth.com forward slash ultimate. That's bodyhealth.com forward slash ultimate and look for the perfect aminos. They actually come in capsules if you're on the go or it becomes in several flavors that they make in a powder, which I love. It's flavored with natural um, uh, means of flavoring. So there's no artificial sweeteners in here. 
So this is one of my absolute favorite products. Give it a try. If you're working out at all, you need a full spectrum amino acid. Go to bodyhealth.com forward slash ultimate. That's bodyhealth.com forward slash ultimate. I love their lab tested products. You can actually see the absorption rate for all of their products. They've got great electrolyte protein combinations. My favorite is the perfect aminos. Bodyhealth.com forward slash ultimate. And now back to the Ultimate Human Podcast. So middle-aged woman, let's say 35 to 60 years old, um, very concerned about the, the health and vitality and beauty of her skin. Where would she start? Um, what would she get out of her routine? What would she add to her routine to, to, to have a world-class skincare routine that is not so cumbersome, 15 steps um, mm -hmm. that she can do before she puts on her makeup? Yeah, two. so ingredient science, a good hyaluronic serum, you know, like our super anti-aging serum mm -hmm. is amazing for absolute hydration because what happens when we get older, our skin becomes more permeable and we have the trans-epidermal water loss. So we have to protect from dehydration. So mm -hmm. the super anti-aging serum and the super anti-aging face cream to super, super good tools to really keep the skin barrier strong give enough hydration, maybe take the super anti-aging supplement for telomerase activating from the inside. You know mm -hmm. so much about that. I do, and but I mean for those people, yes, about, but, but, telomerase you know, activating and telomeres are a measure of your biological age, the chromosomal, they're, they're sort of the top of a chromosome, kind of like the uh, the, the plastic piece on your shoelace, yeah. right? And as it, as it gets shorter and shorter and shorter, eventually the shoelace frays, so the chromosome, um, you know, it dies, so the... the the telomeres are a sign of your biological age rather than your chronological age. So this is telomerase activating. So the whole skincare line is telomerase activating. Mm. And I have a supplement corresponding to the, the skincare line as well. So hydration, anti-inflammation, telomerase activation and nutrition. So your cells go through your entire cell divisions instead of accelerating your cell turnover, what mm -hmm. the industry tells us we should do. So I believe in keeping your cells strong and Because vital. as you accelerate uh, you know, cellular turnover, you really are borrowing from your future. Yeah. You know, you're essentially I love when just, you say that. Yeah, you're, yeah. Just, you're essentially getting that benefit today, but yeah. you know, it's going to come knocking in the future. Yeah, absolutely, yes. Um, and then what, you know, what I really like, if you get you know, massages or you use the gua sha or you use like a little vibrating tool... You know, not aggressive what about the massages. Derma roller, the, 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 the rollers that women use on their face the, the, with the, the microneedling. With the little microneedling. I've but heard use that those like, are you use terrible. like a very um, low because like, they do it too much. You know, one. people think they need to bleed and they need to be red. That's that's you know self inflicted damages. We mm. shouldn't do that. You know, if you want to do once a month a little microneedling with 0.2 millimeters. You know, fine. Do it a little bit with and a then hyaluronic you follow serum. Up with the hyaluronic serum. Yeah, exactly. But um, don't, don't make yourself bleed or something. But you know, slight massages are great. And you know what? I always talk about the dry brushing, for example, not for mm. your face, but for your legs and arms. Dry brushing is so great for exfoliation, for stimulating your fibroblasts to produce collagen, for microcirculation. Really, even in the skin it's of amazing. your arm. And, and how do you do the dry brushing? You take a. So we have a dry brush. You can get this also in a you know any dry brush. And you brush, I don't know, with the microphone, you brush your arms always towards, towards the, the heart, heart and the legs and your butt and everything. You massage, massage when so you're dry. nice. Dry before taking a shower. It's oh. amazing. And this will help with circulation. From your skin, especially here and the arms, cellulite. It's the best tool against cellulite. Mm. There's nothing better. And, and what do you what do you think about? Um, there seems to be like a new laser treatment for fat and cellulite and skin toning and tightening every every week that I open a magazine. Um, what about those uh, men and women that actually have either saggy skin or cellulite or that cottage cheese appearance in the on, on the skin? Are you a, a fan of procedures to remove that or try dry brushing? First. Dry brushing. Do it for six weeks and then six weeks you of know, dry brushing. There you go. Do it. Do it like two, three times a week, do it, try it, and see how your skin changes. And if then, you still have, like, scarring, whatever, you can put a little filler or, what, you know, you, there's so many treatments which can help to to, to, to have with the, the damages. Yeah, but um, 
I would use the driver. It's, it's the cheapest and most effective tool for firm skin. Yeah, I mean, I tell people that Don't my favorite biohack is mineral salts. And a fifteen dollar <laughs> yeah. bag will last you five yeah. years, and it's and it's got all the trace minerals in it. Um, so dry brushing, I'm I'm taking taking that one away. This has been amazing. I mean, I think my audience is really going to get a lot out of this. Um, where can where can they find out more about you? Where can they find out more about your cosmetic line with your skincare line where can they find out more about you so i do a lot of you know i started during covid for the kids you do a lot of education too which yeah i love i love to talk about it and you know i love when people ask questions and want to know i i try to help and give advice so we started skin school during covid skin school skin school so we do um regularly skin schools to learn about because you know as you, we, we, we like our audience to be experts because mm. then they can make good choices for themselves how to live their best lives. Right. And so we do master classes. We are on YouTube. We do, you know, I do a lot of education also on our Instagram channel, Dr. Barbara Sturm. Dr. Barbara Sturm. And our website is very informative. We have doctor's notes, which, you know, we, we show anti inflammatory recipes about per se, whatever. It is, you know, we do a lot of education also on the website. And is this at drbarbersturm.com or drsturm.com? Oh, drsturm.com. drsturm.com. Yeah. Amazing. Well, um, I, I I finish every podcast by asking all my guests the same question. If you see my podcast, you know this question's coming. There's no right or wrong answer to it. Um, but what does it mean to you to be an ultimate human? Personally, you know, I I feel I feel always very young, you know, and I ski every day when I in the winter. You do, you really do. I, I mean, I'm this like, th- this woman's a maniac in the snow. I've seen it myself. <laughs> and I'm like a little bunny, you know. I'm always, you know, running around and then have pepper, and then we do all kinds of things and you know, lots of sports. And I feel like I I want to stay in my possible best shape ever as long as I can. And so I believe a lot in everything, what ultimate human does, what you do. And I love all those, you know, tools. I have it at my house and I do it um, regularly. Because we're not just friends. You've been a client of mine for a long, long time. So when we met, Gary and I, we couldn't stop talking. Because we were also talking about the same thing: anti-inflammation, hydrogen. Light, we did. We just light. ate each other's we were face. Like, we were like, "Oh yeah. my god!" I couldn't believe that. We, yeah, we drove we our were, staff crazy. Yeah, and we were talking <laughs> the <laughs> same <laughs> stuff. And mm-hmm. then you know, Gary, you are such a such a nerd that you get the best machines and the best you know products from <laughs> yeah. everywhere. So and I just gobble everything up, and I was like, "Okay, I do this, I do this, I do this." So I I love everything you do, and. So it's it's for me it's it's a it's a privilege to be being able to give all these sources to myself to my family. I I I'm I'm yeah. I, I mean, we we shift the red light bed to Switzerland. To <laughs> yeah. Switzerland. Was, I was like, was wow, easy. you're committed. You need like the strongest, um, you know, power. Yeah, the power. that wasn't easy. Yeah, so. yeah. We had to redo the power in our house, and like she, but she wanted that bed. She wanted the PMF mat. She wanted the oxygen. Um, no, I believe in all of it, and I do it religiously. As I said, after surgery, I was on the red light bed sometimes twice a day. Mm-hmm. I, I really, I'm religious red light about is, it. Is, uh, I mean, it's yeah. really, really, really becoming a lot more mainstream and now you know, too. And if you're disciplined, and I'm very disciplined, I'm, you know, I've, since I'm 16, I'm eating only healthy food. I'm so such a healthy eater. Mm. I take my eight hours of sleep. I'm so disciplined mm. about all of it, and I love it. And I, I think it fe- makes me feel better. I think it makes you look better. So. You heard from another <laughs> ultimate. I think you're an ultimate human too, Doctor Sturm. I appreciate Aww. everything that you're doing to make an impact in this world. And same, and the same length. to you. I want to give this back because um, you. what you do um, is really changing a lot of how people think about health and be, being a patient. I want to just be a patient, being healthy. I don't want to be a patient when I when it's too late, when I'm sick. I want to know um, what I can do to have my best life. You know, I think the whole world is not the whole world, but I think. There is a massive movement oh, yeah. of people that are that are very like minded. I would say five years ago, maybe not so. Um, you know, when we talk about red light and gene testing and and chemical free living, um, I, I think that it was falling on deaf ears. But I think post pandemic, oh for um, sure, 
just doesn't matter which side of the aisle you fell on. I mean, it just hit people in such a way that they said, you know, I need to wake up and become my own citizen scientist and at least start going out and trying to gobble also, up information. you can find everything on Google. If you question something, Gary's saying, or I'm saying, just go on Google. There's so many studies out there. Be your own expert. Believe some of it. You know, research the other yeah, I mean, stuff. I you know, I don't want to preach. I get called out for it all the time. I don't want to preach. I don't want to, you know, this is my experience, my knowledge, and I share it. I love to share it, and I want everybody to get the, the, the power of the knowledge for themselves. You can be your own doctor. You can do everything yourself, everything Your own made. citizen scientist. You can get all the, the, the clinical studies out there right there in the library. Yeah, I agree. Dr. Sturm, thank you so much for coming all the way from... Stad Switzerland, um, you know, and spending some time with us today. I think our audience is going to get a lot out of this. I promise you I will put those uh, products that she yeah. referred to in the ingredients. Uh, she's going to send it to me, and I'll put it in the show we notes. We will research more products. I want to get a whole list of all products out there, especially the ones which are interesting for the tweens because they're the most yeah. vulnerable. Lots of moms concerned and yeah. dads concerned about what's going on with their young daughters yeah. putting all this stuff on their skin. So exactly. we'll do as much as we can to put that in the show notes so you guys can have access to it. I'll also put it up on the ultimatehuman.com website and make it available for download for free. And as always, that's just science.